Okay, so today we're starting looking at this overall progress section. We're gonna start on some of the data behind it today. So you can see as I click that things are done, the overall progress changes. We've got other things that move around, but we'll do those a bit later. So for this, I've added a table at the top here. It's got three rows in one column, and we're going to just be thinking about row two and three today. So we're going to start off with row two. We're going to put a formula in it. So we're going to use count if today. So if you just type in an equal sign and count if, we're going to count for this one. Um, our, uh, you can see exactly what it does there. It's this function that collects all of the things that fit the component. So we need to put in our test array, the area that we're going to be testing. And we're going to do the status. Don't include the heading section because we don't want that. But we're going to count and our, um, what we're going to be counting up is done. So we put those in quotation. Mark. So now we can see that as we change the amount of things that say done in that column, it changes the count. We've counted if there is done written in that section. The other part of it we need is we need to know how many tasks there are all together. So it doesn't matter if they're done or in progress. So again, we're going to use count if and then our test array for this one is going to be the B column because that tells us just if there is text. So we're just looking for if there is text in that box, that, that means that there's a task and it will give us a total. For this, we do um, a quotation mark and the little star sign um, means that we're going to count anything with text in it. So if we click equals, we can now see that seven of the boxes in column B have text in them and that's what we've counted up. So we can now use these as we go on. So we can see that as we click the done, it changes the amount of done ones. It will not count if it's just numbers. It's only going to count if it's text in there. So you can see as I start to add text to row eight, we get another box there that counts um, as having text in it. So it moves it to seven. So it allows us to then use these a bit later on to get that overall progress um, automatically updating. Thanks. Thanks for taking the time to listen all about how to make our to-do list. Please do keep following for more information on how to use numbers.